Okay, this might be the last tip. Um, this unit is one of the ones that fills on the bottom. So when you fill it, you sit it on top of the refill unit, and then you pull this switch here, and then that allows the oxygen, compressed oxygen, uh, liquefied oxygen to be pushed up into the unit. Some of them fill on the side, and they clip on the, the uh, refill unit like that, and you twist it. Now these units, they, they frost up when they're in use because they're so cold. So it's just ice from the air that forms a little bit of snow on the outside. And that snow is harmless. Um, you don't want to be sticking your fingers inside any of these cracks because it does get really cold in there, like over 185 degrees below zero. But I do want to warn you about something. If you're ever filling one of these units and some liquid starts dripping from it, uh, or from the side fill unit, or if you're ever using one of these units and liquid starts dripping from the bottom, do not assume that that liquid is water. It could actually be liquefied oxygen, which is, I think it's 185 degrees below zero, something like that. And it's so cold that if you touch it, it'll give you a severe, severe, severe burn immediately. And when the first time, if you ever see it, which I did, because I hooked one of these things up incorrectly, and it was dripping onto a hardwood floor, and I thought it was water damaging the floor, you just think it's water, because all this other stuff is snow. Thankfully, I used a yogurt container to catch the stuff, and I tested it with a wet uh, towel. I dropped the wet towel in it just to see what would happen, and the towel froze solid as soon as the towel hit this little yogurt container full of this liquid. And I wouldn't have believed that the liquefied oxygen would remain in that state in a yogurt container in an apartment in Vancouver. I thought it would evaporate too quickly or something. But it does. And um, I don't recall ever being really clearly warned about that, but I probably was and I just forgot. So that's just something you want to be very careful about. These are the liquid oxygen refill units. Just put them in my garage here so you could see them. Um, this one here is the big unit that they gave us that we had the whole time for refilling the liquid oxygen units. That's the one we took camping in the back of our minivan. Uh, over here, there, is a silhouette of a regular sized garbage can, so you can see how high a garbage can is. This is the smaller refill unit that they gave us near the end so that we could have that in the back of our van all the time for refilling the little portables to commute into my medical appointments. But again, that's the bigger unit. And here's the side fill part where they, you hook up to fill up the side fill. And that's where it was dripping liquid oxygen onto the floor as the side fill unit was filling up. So it was my mistake for hooking it up incorrectly. These are the two compressors they gave us to uh, compress or condense the oxygen out of the air. And because I was at hot, such a high flow rate at the end, I, they, we had to use both of them. And you can see here there's a Y connector. So the oxygen from both units would come down this and then would come into this tube which would head out into the house, and that's what I would live on, the 50-foot-long cable.